Super hot. I'm not complaining. 33 degrees of Celsius. It's nice. Finally warm. People always say don't complain when it's finally hot. I don't understand. There is too cold and there is too hot. And in between is like comfort zone for humans. <laughs> too cold is too cold. Too hot is too hot. Milo is vomiting there. Yeah, when it's too cold, you are allowed to complain, and when it's too hot, you are again allowed to complain. You can maybe hear some music there. This morning I woke up. I was like, this big speak, this big. I mean, this big. <laughs> speakers, PA speakers, like three meters behind my camper, full blast. <laughs> I was like, what's going on here? You know? <laughs> and, I, and I checked out of the window. It was nine o'clock or 8.30 or something. In the morning, there was this where children can go pump this air airfield castles like air castle I don't know how you, what you call it so there is some kids festival music and those castles air castles uh, <laughs> some there's some horses for kids I've been there like a uh, couple of days parked now so I left I went to market and after the market I came this parking because it's like 100 meters that way is my my parking where I was and here is this other shady parking now I needed to drive there into the into the sun sunshine because the batteries needs to charge plastic bottle these are best toys for Nilo empty plastic bottle I don't know what's wrong or I don't know it's if there is anything wrong but I don't know what's going on with Hungary here is so many bugs all kinds of bugs I haven't even seen that kind of bugs anywhere else than in Hungary and a lot of lot of them first of all mosquitoes millions of mosquitoes god damn no any other country in Europe in middle Europe or southern Europe has that much mosquitoes no Slovakia no Czech Republic no Poland no Spain no none Hungary when you enter Hungary it's like poof, millions of mosquitoes right away I don't know what's going on I don't know And this is first country where I got ants inside my camper also. I don't know, strange, it's strange. <laughs>
guys, I started cooking some meat. It says Certes Tarla Magyargos. Magyaros. I don't know what this is. I just bought it because it looked very nice. Very. Uh, I normally I don't I don't buy these pre-marinated ever. But this time I thought it looked looked quite good because uh, it's so red. And I think there is might be paprika because I'm in in Hungary, which is paprika country. So I thought it might be some Hungarian paprika special. I don't know. It doesn't smell anything uh, paprika or just pre-marinated meat. You know the smell. I'm getting hungry for sure. Of course, I bought paprika, Hungarian paprika. I made I made sure it's Hungarian paprika. And it, yesterday I, I ate the other one. There was two in this pack. And yes, it was nice. I, I never buy paprika, never. And from now on I will start buying more paprika. Eating with sandwiches and, and, and just like that. It's nice snack. Also mini tomatoes. I bought mini tomatoes. Hungarian mini tomatoes. These are all from Aldi. So yeah, it's not like um, local products probably but at least it's hungry and I made sure everything is hungry and, and these mini tomatoes are so sweet probably the sweetest tomatoes ever and also I wanted to try Hungarian cucumber which is nice not as good not as good and uh, kind of herbal or like dark green as what cucumber in Finland is. I think I never had better cucumber than in Finland. It's Finnish cucumber is the winner. There is some Ukrainian van lifer parked right there with the yellow van. I thought because I have too much meat I will give him one steak. Oh, he's a vegetarian. Of course, of course he's a vegetarian. Also, this is this reminds me very much of a Finnish marinated meats. Fine, but nothing special. I don't taste any paprika or any anything. It's just pre-marinated. It's not dry at all or anything. It's very nice. It's very nice. Mm. I mean, good. It's good. It's good. Definitely good, but nothing like special. I wish this had a little more like kick some some spice and talking about spices if you come to Hungary you need to taste this pista I think it's like chili paprika paste it's like this it's surprisingly salty it has a kick very nice kick like chili hot this is good I put it on the on the steak now and I'm gonna try, first time trying on the steak. I've been eating this pista here daily with with uh, all kinds of um, pizza slices and uh, sandwiches and it's really nice. Oh man, it's perfect on, on the meat. Wow, it's really nice. It's really, really. Oh yeah. Oh man, yeah, boy. <laughs> oh boy. You can put this on the soups and everything. Man, this is perfect on the steak. Whoa. I need to put a little bit more. Oh boy, this is good on the steak. This is good on the steak. You need to find Hungary a, mar a shop somewhere where you live and buy this pista. Perfect on the steak. Perfect. Boy, mm. oh my. I finished my food. You finish what you were doing. See you on the next video. Bye.